Here's a title editing trick. I know this is directed strictly at Premiere Pro users, but maybe y'all can leave a comment below if your editor can do this and how. I created a title in Premiere Pro. It's just a box with some text, a shadow, and background image. I created 10 of them and named them Title 1 through Title 10 for this demonstration. It could be 100 titles, all the same or different, it doesn't matter. Now I go to the timeline, remove any markers already there. It's a good idea to do this on an empty video track, so I add one. Now let's add 10 markers, say one here and 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 here. Place the timeline before the markers just created. The trick is to lock all the other video tracks in Premiere Pro so it doesn't do anything funny. Leave the titles track unlocked. Now select your titles. I click on the first one and shift click on the last. That's 10 titles. Notice this little icon to the left of the search icon become active. That's the automate to sequence function. Click it. I tell it to use the selection order I made. In other words, one through 10. I also tell it to place all these titles at the unnumbered markers we just made on the timeline. Make sure the in and out range is selected. Hit OK and watch all the magic. Premiere Pro has placed all these titles just where I wanted them at the markers on the timeline. Much easier than dragging each of these individually or as a group and having to adjust them. Here's title 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you're wondering how to control how long these titles are, you can set that in the general preferences using the still image default duration. Mine is set to 5 seconds, but you could set it to anything you like, seconds or numbers of frames. You can do all sorts of things with this tool, but I wanted to show you a neat way to apply a lot of titles to your timeline. By the way, last call to sign up at Basic Filmmaker University and get that 100 bucks off the course. This offer ends tomorrow, Sunday, July 31st at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll never see that course offered at that price again. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. By the way, if you have a hard time seeing the time indicator or any of those blue buttons or areas, open preferences, appearance, and adjust the controls and indicators to your liking. You know, you can also adjust the brightness. Seriously, would anyone edit like that?